right, all right. Guys. Hey, let's uh, go for it, man. It's great to have you on the show. So uh, I met Hyper over on uh, the uh, in uh, Burp's channel. The guy has he's also got his own uh, live twenty four hour stream running, and uh, it's good stuff. He's got it uh, actually over in the uh, Chon. Uh, I'm sorry, in the uh, Burb link in the Burb group, and I'll see if I can post that up later. But he's got a uh, a twenty four hour chart running it's uh some pretty good stuff i've actually checked it out once it, it, it's uh, it's a it's on a new platform i've never seen before so it's kind of neat okay maybe i'll tell a little bit about the platform because uh, i think that can be interesting on on always on your chart because uh, if you stream on the uh this new platform that is called uh, bittube it's similar like YouTube, but uh, there is some features that YouTube don't have it because uh, YouTube pay you uh, if you are a creator. So if you uh, plug some uh, some videos, some stuff and people watching it, then, then you earn money for every subscribers and every uh, watch it uh, video, right? But in uh, the new feature, the BitTube, uh, after you watch the video, so if you are a customer who just looking on the video, you also earn some tube coin. If you check on the coin market cap, wait a minute, I will show you how it is look like. Uh, what's what's your uh, hey? Do me a favor. What's your uh, your Twitter? Uh, Twitter is the same. It's it's hyper or hypermaster. I will show you. H y i p e r. Hypermaster got it. Yeah. Uh, if we see on the coin market cap and write the tube, it's the name of the coin from the the service. Uh, as you see, it's this is the price for for the one tube. Uh, right now, what I'm seeing uh, after one hour, you can earn like uh, half of the tube uh, for our one hour watching. So, like you, if you're streaming 24 hours, uh, the charts and all the things. And people who are watching you, you will be earn uh, half of the tube from the one hour if you have like five or six people watching. So you can easily calculate how many money you can earn and the people earn uh, just for the watching. You are you streaming and earn money, they watching and also earn money. That's that's the new new uh, really nice future. They can. I will tell you how it looks like. It's like this. And it's also similar like uh, YouTube. Oh. But basically, this is the, you know, this is the maybe. <laughs> Those videos uh, are much better than mine. I just like to throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, ah, cannot, you know, I cannot compete. You need to have some passion out, yeah. of the, out of the market. You need to do something others to reset your mind. That's, exactly. that's my my. So, but what I want to tell you about uh, the Bitcoin, only two things about my my vision of the next move. Uh, and it's really similar, like like Vamp. Uh, I really appreciated that he uh, invited me in here. But what I want to say and show you, uh, only two things. If we see on the one week or one day chart, oh, well, okay, look at here. This is the market, uh, our Bitcoin chart, yeah? This is the 20 March when the price starting getting up. This is the end of the cycle. Next one, and we are now in this in this area where we don't know which size we can pick, right? But if you draw this purple line from the beginning, like you see here, here, and here. It seems like this is the secret support for the Bitcoin. Right here uh, is the price where is the lower uh, point of the, the drop. It's like a five, five, nine, I think. Okay, you know, you will, ch you will check it on your own chart. But uh, what I want to say is this is the first support and the black line is the last support. Why is the last support? Because under this black line, uh, the miners uh, don't have any profits for uh, mining. So uh, this is the line when it's not uh, profitable to to mining Bitcoin. So this is this is the really important zone right now. 
in next few days, in my opinion, we will see maybe the breakout of these two lines to uh, this red line. Or if we drop below this purple one, then we are in big, big trouble for me. Because we can see uh, on other market that the price from the beginning, that that's what the Chinese said today. It's still profit if you buy Bitcoin in here. You are in still profit. But if you see the uh, chart before, it's still, wait a moment, I'll check how much is it, but I think it's still at none of the 80 percent. Um, yeah, as you see, 5k, 5k for for Bitcoin is still uh, possible. It's still possible uh, where you can see this magical fib line. So I don't know. It's a good uh, place to tell people that uh, we can go to the moon. We can go to the hell. We need to wait for the confirmation of breakout this line or go above one. So today is only one problem because, as you know, Bitfinex is uh, have some some uh, service problems. Some they changing something, and after the some if the market is turning off and they turn on, uh, we can see some uh, really shit manipulation of the Bitcoin because the money is frozen on the last price, and after the turn on the market, we can see some uh, shit move. Like uh, we have one month ago when the, um, I don't remember which one market was. Uh, it was uh, Max, it was BetMax. Yeah, yeah. And after that, you see some massive shit pump, like $300 up, $300 down. They kill all the long, all the shorts, and then just price go on the regular price that was in uh, uh, that current date. So. Uh, you, we need to look out. Uh, about 8 p.m. today, it's they are want to turn on the market, I think. So we have like uh, eight hours from now, and we just need to look out for this, uh, you know, for this manipulation. It can kill all your all your position right now. For me, I'm just waiting for the breakout, like you see, like uh, the bump set also uh, break this first one line. This is my first confirmation for the little long. Uh, and the last one, well, I will switch to the, oh, there is Bitmix, oh, sorry. And I will go short only if we break out this channel, as you see. This is the short position under 6, uh, 6400. It will be my short position and above 6600 will be my little long. And maybe a more to six eight zero zero, and I think that's it. It's nothing magic in here, but you, we need to just wake up for the confirmation, and that's all. Yeah, you know, one of the issues I think is breaking up. Even if we do break up, I think it's just going to turn around and break back down. Like you, you, you know, have to, you have to get over that seventy four hundred hump really to make it a, a viable, a uh, legitimate break. Mike, don't yeah, you think I, I saw, you know, I, I, you got to get up there. So on your go on your daily chart, is that your daily? Yeah, this is your daily it's right the there. Daily, yeah. yeah, you know, and this is, you know, kind of when I when I pulled my charts up, this is one of the things we were looking at when I was just overdoing my uh, uh, I was just doing a uh, on the uh, my ADX chart, right? I was just mm -hmm. planning out the zones where it could possibly go to. And, you know, same thing for you. I'm just waiting for either a break or, or a dump. And one of the things we were looking at was the wedge configuration that we were in. We we're trying to look at what do you think the larger wedge or pattern configuration is? You know, I, I think that some of the analysts can can be used in this, uh, in this area because, you know, uh, technical analyst is really good when the market is, uh, you know, uh, is going in the normal way. There is no manipulation, there is no any uh, fuckers and big money that can push or dump the price. So sometimes, and maybe it's more than sometimes, uh, I think the technical analyst can be used on the Bitcoin charts. You can use it on the Ethereum, you can use it on the, I don't know, EOS, Terex, other ads. 
uh, also on the of course regular market but on bitcoin it's it's like uh, other world for me uh, sometimes of course it's it's, it can be used but but uh, if the market is uh, like unstable right now uh you can get your fib uh, levers you can get your patterns like you said but it's not 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 good for the for the bitcoin like i see it uh you have uh ishimoku in here right uh we are so much space to go to the cloud this is the the place where the price can go up to the side and then go down and that will be technical at least but if some guy have money and said okay everybody thinking that we can go here and then that so let's push these fuckers up like here that can can do anything on the bitmax because uh, you cannot uh, open position then it's uh, over over both and then go down so the technical analysis in in this case i don't think it would be the best um uh, best you know uh, things to use it sometimes you need to think uh what Think like the a whale. The big money want to do. Think like a whale. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for my English. It's no, the, it's you good. Know, it's good. With that. But you know, the basically what I want to say is when the price is standing on the one place, like here. This is the place we are from about two weeks, three weeks, or one month, maybe. Okay, one month. So no one earn money in here. No one. I mean, uh, the big money. No, don't play in this area. They play like this. This is the way they earn money. This is the way they earn money. This is the place where they put their money. This is not the sector that they do anything. So, like you see, we have some uh, price get in the right side and nothing changing here. So this is the really important zone for me. We need to look out for the manipulation today. That will be really, I'm really worried about what can happen today. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. And, and I, I, I'm the same thing. I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for the actual manipulation to begin. We were all thinking they were going to sneak up on uh, Phoenix when they shut down. Phoenix and the USDT exchanges definitely jumped on uh, MEX when they when they shut down and they crushed all the people on MEX. We we're thinking that uh, they were possibly going to retaliate right now. And we are, if you look at our RSI uh, charts, you know, we're, we're right there on the cusp of possibly breaking out, which is just the worst place to trade ever. Yeah, that, that's true. So I don't know if you try to open some risky, uh, you know, hedging position like uh, one of cross to uh, long and second one of shorts. Try I, I, to, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm awake right now where I'm just waiting to do it. <laughs> We're watching. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm watching the RSI. I've been awake and watching this thing, and I'm like, I'm just waiting to open a long trade. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, okay. So we think about the same thing. You know, right now it's only only time. We need to wait a few hours to see where the price will be pushing up. But I'm a little worried that if we know what what sites we need to choose, that we cannot do anything because uh, bitmax will be crashed or something like that and so that's it but uh, i think i will also open two position one for the short one for the long on uh, cross leverage and the same stop loss like uh, about 50 or maybe 100 dollar uh below and above so one of the position for sure give me the profits and one of the position uh, for sure give me lost <laughs> but i hope the, this uh, this price if they push they they um that give me a lot of money that can cover the the loss of the the, the bad position yeah no i agree i agree so they're saying that uh, Me- uh phoenix is only going to be down we think for two hours but usually that gets drawn out sometimes Sometimes they say yeah. two hours and it's like two or three or however long. They they never open or close on time. Never, never. Yeah. They they try to you know uh, the, this is the just information that probably in this hour they will uh, turn off the the market. But see, like like before it was like one and a half hour or two hour later on the bitmax. So so it was the same. They have a lot of time to do a lot of manipulation in here. Uh, also they move. Mm, a big amount of tether uh, to the other markets uh, before uh, uh, yesterday or two days ago. 
Uh, so I think they want to try to, you know, uh, save position on one market and then uh, change the position on their own market. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. You want to bring up your ETH chart real quick? Uh, which one? Your ETH. ETH. Ethereum. 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 It's yeah. Yeah, I am definitely more bearish on Ethereum than I am on uh, uh, BTC for sure. Bearish in here. Hmm. Yeah, I, I am. I just when I look at the Ethereum chart compared to the like to the uh, Bitcoin chart, the Ethereum mm -hmm. chart definitely looks more bearish to me than the uh, than the than the uh, the light the Bitcoin. I think when I when I compare the two, I look at Bitcoin and Bitcoin looks stronger. Ethereum looks weaker to me. Okay. For me, of course, we are still in this downtrend. So it's it's not the point where I can tell anything. But right now will be good that the price will go up to that is 12 hours. So it's like here. Let me check one day chart to see anything. Okay, it's shit. Uh, wait a minute. I need to find the other market. Uh, maybe on. Binance. Maybe on Binance we see that. Yeah. As you see in one day chart, 813, you know this TD mark, so you know what this means. And we can go up in here. This will be the level for the long. If they if they, but I, I don't know if they do it, but if they pump BTC, we also see the, what the fuck, we also see the uh, Ethereum going in this way for me. Yeah. So basically we are still in bearish market. So everything can drop, everything. TRX, uh, Ripple also look bearish for, Ripple look bearish for me, but, um, but Ethereum, I don't know. I don't have any, any any idea right now. I just need to wait for the confirmation of breakout this this uh, two lines, uh, choose the side and that's it. But uh, if they want to push it, if they want to push it, for me will be looking like this. A thirteen push about this line and the target uh, in BTC, as you see, is under the cloud on one day chart. So. Let me check one more time to the USD, how it look like. Yeah, that will be the same, but the price can stop in here, like $250. That will be the uh, target when, the, um, when we go above this 229. So $20 for sure. Maybe more, but we will see how we, how they do it. RSI and other indicators show you uh, that we can bounce. Some of them maybe show you that you can drop, but confirmation will be about this this line. And if we break it, then I sure open long to 250 and just not close the position at this price. Just try to set my stop loss a little bit more and move it more after the price. It's the same, you know. It's the same situation like we have before. Uh, when you have, when you look on the bigger time frame, like 20, uh, 12 hour or one day chart, you have plenty of time to do any move. So, like before, we have this trinagon in here. Yeah. So, you have plenty of time to open your short position under uh, after the breakout of this trinagon. So, we have also same situation in here. If we break up this one, that should can be a little more or less, but for sure you have time to open the position. Same if we drop below. We can drop to the level to test 166 one more time and then just go up. But like I said, safe enter is above this line and below this line. Yeah, I'm watching right now. No, I agree. I agree. The safe entry is definitely you got to wait for confirmation here. This is probably one of the worst 
Just all the because sideways movement is just wrecking people left and sideways right. Sideways movie is the worst because you cannot choose any good one, one any side. It's it's if you play for like a fifteen minute charts, okay, you just take your twelve, twenty, fifty dollar profit and just go out. But if you want to play for some long term, uh, uh, then then it's not good to trade on this so lower time frame. As as um, the same is on the EOS. If you see, we have the same situation. Confirmation of the breakout, then we can go up. Confirmation of breakdown, then we go down. Yeah, it's it's the yeah. same on the all the market you see in the Bitmax. As you see also Ripple, same situation. It's just same situation. We ha you have just two line where you can go up and you can go down, but uh, it was yeah. This is what they said. We can go up above eight four six zero. This is my uh, lever where I set my alarm to go long. Second one is TRX. Also, waiting for breakout. Every single fucking coin have the same situation. Waiting for breakout. Closing on some triangle, closing on some you know supports on below some resistance. So everybody waiting for the Bitcoin due today. After that, we see a massive move on all the market. All this coin on Bitmax will move also. So I just set alarm all of them, but my eyes I only on Bit right now. So. So, uh, question. Anna has a question. She says, "Can you tell us a little bit about your indicators down there? Your uh, your stoke that you got going on, and then MFI." Okay, uh, MFI. Uh, of course. Uh, when I use MFI, MFI is uh, it's a money flow. Um, it shows you. Um, it's it's same like RSI, but it's basically on other settings. Uh, it's it's about the money in markets. So. Uh, how can how can you use money flow? You can use money flow with the um, Heken Ashi, Heken Ashi uh, candle, and it's really simple to use it. When the MFO is uh, when the MFO is uh, oversold or, or overbought, and you have red stick candlestick like here and here, and you see first green one, then is the first uh, signal to go long in this uh, in this indicator so first one green is uh, a signal to go long and the same situation if uh, the mfo is uh, overbought first red one give you the signal to go down this is you know this is the one of the indicators because you cannot uh, trust any indicator you cannot uh, follow only one indicator. Like this is the golden golden indicator when you always earn. No, you need to have few of them. Like Ishimoku, uh, Money Flow, RSI, Stock. If all of them show you that is the price is bearish, that is more uh, sure that uh, the price will go down. But if you just look only on the um, on the one indicator. Uh, it's not good because uh, it's only indicator, you know, everybody sees it. Whole world sees these indicators. So if I see that price can go drop, other people also see it. And the big fish also see that. So they can do different way, move a little bit up, cut your stop loss or, you know, other, other manipulation or other things. So, you know, I don't trust any indicator. I just use them. Uh, look at them and they they give me some you know uh, confirmation about my thinking which sites uh, we are going but uh, this is the good one i think it's a really nice one to use it but only with this um when the Hekanashi candles. So, so so when I'm looking at your indicators right now in your chart, right? The first thing I see is if I look all the way to the right, right where the price action is now, I see the money flow indicator is actually at the very bottom of the shadow. Yes. Right? So and then you've got your three candles that ran up. I look above it, you've got your your Stoke RSI. Your Stoke RSI is at a pretty high level. Yeah, that's Okay. True. And then I look all the way to the left of your chart. 
right? I look mm -hmm. all the way to the left, and a couple of the places I see the RSI got really high, especially that one all the way over, you know, the couple of the right RSI. Here, okay. Yeah, yeah, West went way up. And it looks like the money flow is but pretty, also in the same position like now, yes, that's true. Exactly, very, very close to the position, which just kind of puts you back into more sideways action, to tell you the truth. <laughs> you know, it looks yeah, like it yeah. got a fake pump. That looks like a pretty good fake pump right there. Uh, but a pump with very little volume, and that's one of the issues I think right now. I think we just don't have any volume in the market, and I think that volume is just liquidity, and there's no liquid. Nobody trusts anything right now. Yeah, that, that's true because uh, if the market, uh, all the market, it's not with the, the, the there is no any new investors in the market. So uh, there need to be more money. There need to be more money to to push the price uh, to the uh, bigger level. So for me, this is the same situation. It's it's more like sideways going in here. It's not the confirmation that we can blow up. Um, to the moon or just drop to the hell uh, it's not the good good point like here and here to trade to open your position because like look at here he here we have rsi over boat then we have money flow also high and the price just drop this is the move that we want to catch not this one because as you see this this is the candle and they try to uh, they try to uh, liquidate it all shorts or long in here. That was shit situation. So this is not good to trade in this area. Th this is the second one. It's not good to trade in this area. We need to wait for the confirmation. As you see, it's, it's the same situation. We have here the good point to get short. All the indicators show you that we come short and we have massive short in here. So that was massive profit in here. Also this uh, long position. Two yep. indicators, Heiken Ashi green one, go up, and that's it. But only this work, uh, it's really work on the bigger time frame and really low time frame. Because if you want to check the, like a 15 minutes, maybe someone is trying to trade on this, uh, um, on this uh, time frame, then you can see that it's for the 20 50 dollar profit it's okay but nothing more nothing more you cannot trust indicator on the lower time frame never never do it it's like you know it's it's uh, you just cannot trust it that's it mm -hmm. nope i agree that no, looks good yeah so uh god i had one more question i wanted to ask you what was it <laughs> what's your yeah, name yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I had one more question. I was just about to ask, and then he started to. Um, um, dang it, I forgot. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Do you see any bullish indicators or bearish indicators with your Ichi Cloud on any of the higher time frames? Like any TK crosses? Do you see anything bearish at all? Uh, uh, or bullish or bullish on Bitcoin. We're talking daily, weekly, uh, you know, 12 hour. Uh, I see one of them, but I don't know where I, I use some, you know, I use this, um, EMA 21 and 55. It's a really good one for the lower time frame when you want to, uh, have confirmation, uh, um, to go long or short, like in here, uh, I will. This is the 50 and 200. Okay, so look, uh, this is the indicator that show me we can go up in this level in here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So this was confirmation to go up. Okay, I will turn up 50 and 200, and let's see. Also, okay, because it's 50. Uh, is the same, but uh, the, the point is that the cross was exactly in this place. But if we cross this 21 and 55, it's a early signal to go up. We have some funny things in here. Look, uh, we have cross for the drop in here. So just before the drop, if I uh, turn off for one, our chart will be the same. But it's look like we try to cross it in this area. 
maybe a little bit higher. So that will be the confirmation that the price go something like that. And that will be the best thing that uh, we can see here because uh, I'm waiting for the level. I'm waiting for to cross this level. I hope to get this level because whole market will get up and all coins, altcoins will also push a little bit harder up. So this is the only uh, indicator uh, who show me that we are bullish. We start to be bullish because we crossed this 21 and 55. And the last one indicator is on the um, last one indicator was where is it? Wait a minute. Will be confirmation with the Ishimoku one for hour because never trade in Ishimoku cloud. This is the first rule never trade inside the cloud. You can trade above or below the cloud. So that will be second confirmation if we break out this line, uh, this, this price. Uh, that we can go up and the last thing that's last thing i use it's uh this uh, emma and it's uh, like 144 this is the level i use because i cannot explain to you why because i use it and i know how to use it for my strategy that that's that's why i'm using it. but basically it's uh, it's the same as uh, any other uh, indicators that if the price is above these two lines, then we go up. If the price is below these two lines, then we go down. But if we see the lower chart, like one hour, and what happened after they cross these two lines, uh, it's okay. Oh, maybe we'll start here. Crossed up as soon as the price was up, we was bullish, right? Here was my uh, stop loss taken. Uh, and then second short trade. But look at here. Also, we are inside these two indicators. So we are we are choosing the side right now. It's like a big winning game. Hmm. Uh, maybe we can open the casino for, you know, go <laughs> up or go down. This is the really important place. And few of the indicators show bullish and others say, say that we are a bearish one. So, you know, we need to wait. It's impossible to say the right way. If someone told you that we can go up and the, 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 the bullish scenario is the right one, uh, it's a lottery. It's like a casino. No one fucking know which sides we get. We need to wait for the confirmation. It's not Trading is about to, you know, save. You need to save your money. You need to go to safe position. We need to save your capital. You need to get your risk management and all the things. You cannot just play like uh, in lottery when you just uh, push the button right or green, right or green, win or lose, win or lose. It's not, not the point of the trading. So for me, it's really good point to open two positions for now. One of the short, second one of the long. The same amount, the same, uh, the same, same uh, stop loss, and that's it. One of the positions give you the profit for sure. Second one will be lost. Okay. But the profit one uh, need to give you more than you lost. And that will, then you win. Then you win. That, that, that's it. If you want to open position any, you need to open both. If you want to go safe, just wait for the confirmation. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, one more, one more question. Uh, one thing I noticed was that BTC moved and that I felt that alts did not move a as appropriately as BTC did. Did you feel the same thing? Or do you think that alts popped equally with BTC when we had this little pop? Yeah, the, yeah, that's true what you're saying. Because uh, usually when the market, when the Bitcoin goes up, uh, the altcoins go down. Uh and when the Bitcoin goes down, altcoins gone down. So my friend just asked me, okay, what the fuck? So if Bitcoin is going up or going down, the altcoins going down, I mean, uh, it's, yeah. But the problem is the market capitalization is not, uh, Bitcoin is not the most good coin to trade right now. So all the people just move their money to the altcoins, to the like Ethereum, to the EOS, to other, other, um, other market coins and 
that's why uh, price is not always going after the Bitcoin. Uh, you know, if the price is push of the Bitcoin is pushing a little bit up, sure, all the altcoins will be green. But uh, if we saw see some massive push on the Bitcoin up or down, then I don't know if the altcoin will follow that. So. It depends on the situation. It depends on the uh, price, uh, how much is, is pushing up. Yep. No, I agree. I agree. All right, man. Do you have anything else you want to share? Anything? No. Yeah. I think we just need to wait, guys. I also have just today really, really important day. So want to catch this uh, this this move. And, and that's it. That's it. Yep. I will be also online. But, you know, I try to stream uh, not so uh, often like like, uh, like Vamp, but I want to share always uh, with people, with my ideas. Maybe sometimes uh, it's okay, maybe sometimes it's wrong. I'm just human. I'm not, you know, I'm not perfect. So if we stick together, if we can share our ideas we win because more ideas can show us more vision of uh, other people and how they think how they look maybe i see something that you cannot and uh, you see something what i cannot see so that's that is that's good that's good so thank you for uh, opportunity to say my uh, point of the bitcoin what i'm thinking and i hope we today will be happy in the evening when the market will turn on and we have massive massive profit on that position. <laughs> i agree man thank you so much for being here we really appreciate it thank you guys all for uh thank tuning you. in and guys uh, and and see you later all right thanks, see you buddy. in the evening I hope. <laughs> yep i'll see you in the evening man thanks buddy okay bye ciao All right, everybody. Thank you so much. That was great. That was awesome. Uh, so I'm going to just put my charts up here and I am just going to be waiting. I'm actually probably going to see what we got here. This is my one hour. There's my long trade chart for everybody. And let me let me pull up my regular chart. Here's my regular chart. Just because this is such a dangerous place to trade, guys, I will leave like all my charts open for you guys, okay? All right, so let's adjust our lines here. I'm a little bummed because I thought we were going to go down a little more and bounce yesterday. We hit this historical support, which is, of course, you guys know my kryptonite zone. Uh, we hit my kryptonite zone and bounced right off it. Absolutely perfect. So I'm going to just adjust my charts. I thought we were going to come down here, and this is going to be where we are test and get our good bounce. There was my support, and my historical support, and the kryptonite, and I'm a little bit bummed about this so I still think I still think we're gonna head down here and your confirmation trade is gonna be above this right so Man, I am going to pull that off. 